All right, so look, we're, we're out here in our driveway. We do a lot of stuff here in our driveway. There's constantly projects being built here. And if it's like your driveway at home, it's probably going through a lot of stress and needs some disrepair. Right. So Matt, uh, you just moved recently to Tennessee. Yeah. And you're sort of experiencing the cracks and the crevices and the divots and all that stuff I am. at your place. It's weird because, I mean, this driveway has been here for years, yeah. right? So, I mean, you're going to get your cracks, you're going to get your divots. Mine's kind of a unique situation because it was a new build. Yeah. So literally like two or three weeks after it was done, I'm just walking around and I notice that crack in my driveway. And you could see the joint at the bottom. Yeah. And there's a very fine crack that started and it actually spreads all throughout my driveway. There's a better picture of the sure. same crack. But Mark, it goes about 20 feet and it's outside of the joint, which bummed me out because it's only well, three, four weeks old. I know, but here, I'm, I'm not an expert at any of this. I just uh, had a piece of property um, uh, you know, they came and did the inspection, right. and I was surprised at how much the inspector focused on the cracks in the pavement. And I'm like, "There's the cracks," but he immediately said, "He goes, no, because water gets in that, and over time, it'll begin to open up, and you're gonna have a bigger problem." Right. So, so. I'm guessing in your situation, you said it's a new build. A lot of times with new builds, if they're compressing the dirt and the soil and all that, and then they put right. down the concrete, the, the ground is still settling. So it could be a result of that. So you want to know really why you know right. you have those cracks that, well, in your driveway. And that's what I was bummed about, because I know, I mean, most of your cracks are going to come from the weather constantly, you know, raining. Maybe if you're in the south or on the east coast, Midwest, it's going to freeze and then defrost. What your concrete is constantly extrand, uh, expanding, retracting, and it's moving and shifting. But for me, I've been there, you know, a few weeks now, and it's just and, been sunny the whole time. So why, so, you know? So yeah, well, I mean, there there could be extraneous um, forces at play here. You could not even know it but there could be a tree off into the distance that you don't realize the root an older tree that's been there the root right. structure has begun to move in your direction there could be water you know remember you know there's you know you'll see stuff like this is a little bit more dramatic yeah. and i have a lot of this near my house and there are many times i question whether or not the city could be liable for an injury because the roots are coming up and the sidewalk is coming up and right. it's hard to push strollers down or whatever but we really want to we're going to show you how to do some patches, some light repair work on, in this case, some um, little divots that we've had here in the driveway and things like that from right. things that we know we caused. But before you go into really spending a lot of money on it, we just want to tell you, find the source first. If you're having problems with shifting soil underneath your driveway, what we're showing you here in a, in a moment is not going to solve your problem. You need right. to get to the sort of the root of it. So let's get started. We have a, we had a couple of divots here from things being dropped in chunks and we got started on how to repair that er, uh, uh, yesterday. So <laughs> Matt yesterday. and I teamed up. Yeah, here's the tools that we use right there. And we started, Mark, give me a brush. All the tools that you need are on the left side. You want to clean out the divot for any loose gravel. And then Mark used a little quick chisel just to make any rough edges or loose uh, gravel that was hanging on. Clean that out again. And then you take your air compressor, blow it away from Mark's shoes. You do not <laughs> want to get his shoes dirty. But make sure that's extra clean. There's some concrete cleaner. And then Mark, you started cleaning that yeah, up. Yeah, right look, here's what you're going to, you, what you're basically doing here is you don't want to adhere the patch material to dust and grime and grit because it's that is not this, that's not structurally sound. You got to get to, sometimes it's even better to chip away some. Right. And when you put it in, because this is a larger divot, we only put in not even a quarter inch. We want a little bit at a time, let it dry. Once it dried, now go in and apply another layer to it. Yeah, and it should take about, probably about two hours for each uh, layer to dry if you're about a quarter inch. And then right. you put your final layer on, you know, layer by layer by layer, because you don't want the bottom to be moist still, like Mark said, because it'll just screw up your whole divot repair that you made. And, and then you pay your helper with a handshake. That's the best way to do hey, it. So always a pleasure. Not done. I'm not done. I'm not done with you because we got a crack to fix here. There we go. But first, so look, here's what here's our situation here. We're done. This is finished. You can build it up past the surface of the the, the concrete surface, so you can go back through and take some of it off and take some of it down. We talk, it's almost a little bit like woodwork too. When you're putting on paint, you want to take a little bit of away. Mm -hmm. This. You know, Debbie actually saw this and she said, is it going to fade? Is it going to look like the others around it? Over time, it will begin to fade, but what it'll actually do is begin to absorb some of the dirt, some of the tire marks, and it'll blend in nicely. Right. This is one that was caused by us. I'm not worried about any structural problems with it. This crack, however, is a lot like yours. Like I'm wondering where this is going to come into play and what's really causing this. It could be settlement. 
So uh, we'll show you how, this is how you can deal with this. So first thing is Matt's gonna clean this out for us. Just take a rag, get whatever a dirt, remember you're gonna apply this um, quick creek to it. You wanna make sure there's nothing sticking this is adhering to that's dust or dirt. So once you're done, and then get a compressor if you can and take it out, and you'll see how clean he is getting that. But again, then, I was gonna say, you wanna keep it a little moist so it uh, so it adheres to the crack. Because if it's super dry like that, like if I just blew it out like that, yeah. you just still wanna keep it a little bit moist right about there. So then we have another part over here. Now we'll have a little bit of asphalt cleaner too, because we wanna really make sure this is clean. So I'll take a little bit of this, Take a little bit of that off. Get it on your shirt. Watch your shoes. Good, good. Well, these shoes. Okay. So, <laughs> like this area, we had cleaned previously. So we're going to come in here. We want to get it. Look, make sure all that dirt is out. Now, when I put this in, this is not that deep. Um, man, let me just blow a little bit of this out. Just a little bit. Just to get. I want to keep it damp like that, and then I'm going to come in and just gently add. You can let it soak in. There's no huge rush. Just let Steady it fill hands. In. Look at well, you. what's really nice is this. It's very warm out here, which helps because you don't do this on a cold day. It's just going to sit up. So allow it to sink in. Don't you know? It's you, you know. If it were much deeper than this, I probably would stop and not add much more to it. But I would leave it go. Um, and now you're just going to let it set. Now you could come in with a trowel if you want and smooth it off. Just to level it off. And once it dries, you can come back through here with a steel brush, if you wish, and just sort of blend it into the other material. But now you're gonna have that crack filled up. If once this dries and you still feel there's a little tiny recess still, make sure you clean it again, get damp, and add another layer of it until you build it back up and you're dealing with something that's flush. Is so, there anything you're not good at? Um, not good at math. Um, Cost-wise, very cheap. I mean, this is somewhere, you know, what, eight bucks per cleaning solution. Definitely um, under 20 bucks. It's, yeah, it's under 20 bucks. 